women of reddit what's your cringy nice guy story i had started to see this guy we had a lot in common and he was pretty cool but i started getting weird vibes from him it came to a head when we hung out three times and he blew up at me for not inventing him to my house at this point i decided i was donaski i tell him politely that while he's nice he's just not for me Shortly thereafter I start dating someone else. Nice guy pops up every now and again for small talk I'm polite but distant, and I inform him I've started seeing someone else. He gets offended by this, and proceeds to tell me how much better he would be for me, but I just didn't give him a chance. At this point I tell him that, while I appreciate how he feels I'm just not about it. He goes away for a couple of weeks then starts messaging me every couple of weeks asking if I've broken up with my BF. I'm not responding to him so, after about 2 months he decides to tell me how much he cares about me, and he can't believe, that I would have ever ever treated him this way. He's been telling his friends about me, I was special, and my favorite part you used to be the sweet southern bell and now you're just a southern btch I explained to him, that his extreme reaction and inability, to listen to me tell him I'm not interested, was very unattractive and while it's, Unfortunate that it didn't work out things would have been resolved, and he could have moved in forever ago had he just listened, when I first told him how I felt. He then messaged back blocked btch. I don't know that I'll ever recover. It's nice when the trash takes itself out. The one that was the most upsetting was a guy who had been my friend for years, who I was close to and confided in, telling me my boyfriend at the time had cheated on me. I wanted to confront the boyfriend and this friend kept dissuading me, telling me to just drop contact with him, and trying to comfort me with physical contact. Obviously I still confronted my boyfriend. He said no such thing happened, and it turned out my friend had made it all up. A guy at a bar bought me a drink, even though I really tried to not accept it, and he asked me if I was single. I told him that I was dating someone. And he took the drink back, and called me an ugly whr. Ah, uh, okay. Haha. <laughs> I married my high school sweetheart. So in college we had been dating for 3 years already very solidly. One day two of my closer male friends came to visit me at my on campus job and both were really odd and kind of pushy about us hanging out later. My boyfriend future husband was in school about 30 miles away, and was very secure in our relationship had no problem with me having male friends. So I go hang out with these guys and they get really sweet, and over the top with compliments, and making dinner and all these things. So I get really weirded out and say, I'm going to get going. Me and my boyfriend are hanging out later, and suddenly the feeling in the room shifts, and one of the guys says, why are you going to see him? I thought you broke up. Turns out some other girl with my name, broke up with her boyfriend that day and they both thought it was me, so they decided to have some weird competition, to be my next boyfriend, or they wanted a threesome, I have no idea, I booked it out of there, in case you are wondering, neither of them were invited to our wedding. Last I checked I wasn't a girl, but I still feel the need to tell this story, I was friends with this guy who I'll count, Jay in high school who was infatuated, and I mean infatuated with one of my other friends who was a lesbian. The girl who I guess I'll call April, had a very difficult coming out. Parents didn't take it well. They were super conservative, and wanted grandchildren, and she was an only child with E. She just didn't like boys. Well, this all started in our transition summer between junior and senior year. We basically had a big party, and it was the first to meet. Jay and April had met, because it was a sort of mix of my social groups and such. So, on and on into the party and, Jay walks up to me mid-conversation. T. Jay hey who's that girl? Me what? Oh. You mean April. T. Jay yeah. Dude she's hot. Me well she likes girls. I'll note that for any normal guy that would be the end of the conversation. Arosht really. Then they'd move on with their life. But no a hole here. T. Jay no she doesn't. Met. Jay she's a lesbian. She likes girls. T. Jay bruh. You don't know that shit's a phase. No way a girl that hot is a true lesbian. He proceeded to ask me for her number. Which I told him no. 
and if he really wanted to get shut down just go and ask her himself. He just ended the conversation after that and sauntered off and I didn't think much of it because the party went smoothly and he didn't make a move. So. Flash forward. First week of senior year and my then girlfriend texts me to come over to April's house and said we need to talk. April is weirded out asking to talk to me. So I show up to her house and she's in tears and hysterical having a sort of breakdown. So. Somehow after the party we had. T. J had gotten hold of April's phone number pretty sure it was someone at the party and started texting her really flirtatious messages. April, being a lesbian and all, told him she's into girls and isn't interested. He continued for a couple days, repeatedly asking her out and about her day. She stood still and said that she was for sure into girls. No take backs. Dude sent a ducking dick pic with the caption will this change your mind? April told him that he's crossed a line and asked him how he got her number. So, instead of saying how he actually got her number, he told her I gave it to him. He then got all weird and clingy, sending her copious amounts of messages, asking her out, saying how he dreamed of her and shit. Weird stuff. So, after about a week of him blowing up her phone and her repeatedly telling him she's into girls, she blocks his number. He got pissed and soon started stalking her Twitter. Instagram and found out about her coming out and how hard it was for her. He then DM'd her on Insta and Twitter about how she's a fake lesbian and an attention WHR and a sultan WHR whose parents hate her and want her to burn an H will. She thought she was done with. J after she blocked him on both of those platforms. No a hole here. The dude continued to harass her at school, calling her a lesbian slut in the halls. He even got put in the same group for a history class, and despite asking to be moved out of the group, the teacher denied it because April was too overwhelmed to give a reason. While all this was going on, he continued to text her from different numbers asking her out and saying she's making a mistake and just going through a phase by being gay. So, she's I guess understandably upset with me for giving it. J her number, I told her that I didn't, and she needs to talk to the school and maybe the police. She was again, understandably, hesitant to talk to her parents about getting a restraining order, or talking to a principal about it. So I agreed to do it, went to the principal the next day with screenshots of the convos he was having, clearly showing that he was harassing April and borderline stalking her. Principal brought in April the next day to verify it all, and she went to the police after that, and she got a restraining order against Jay who got mad at me for ratting him out. I told him to stuff it and to feel lucky that he isn't in jail. Also, throughout the entire ordeal, he kept referring to himself as a nice guy who treated women right. Too long didn't read friend becomes infatuated with another friend who is a lesbian and won't let it go. Dick pics sent. Harassment ensues. Restraining order and indefinite suspension follow. TJ stands for total jerk. I was 18 as a cashier and had this foreign man come in. He was like 50 he showed me a watralux and told me he was a very rich man. He wanted to show me more he had in his car outside. Stranger danger. He got angry and stormed out. Thought that was the last of him. Next day I got in and he was waiting for me to open my register. He has a box in hand. In broken English he spoke. Our beautiful American woman. Please be my bride. We make babies beautiful together until end of day. Inside the box was a rather large ring with a rather larger stone. Unfortunately, I declined. He stormed out never to be seen again. Maybe one day he will find his beautiful American lass. Not myself personally, but my girlfriend showed me a few texts between herself and a nice guy. For whatever reason, this guy was often called Toady by his friends. Apparently he loved frogs, my girlfriend tells him off a few times, and on about his fourth try, he unloads perhaps the highest tier pickup line I've ever seen. Hey babe, don't you want to get a frog in your throat? I was friends with a guy, who was kind of nerdy, but really sweet. He was overweight, but he wore it well. Nice hair, great skin, so not the hottest guy in the world, but far from the worst. He lived at home and worked a shitty minimum wage job. 
but he was in his mid-twenties, so it wasn't that weird at his age to still be struggling. I accepted his friend's request on Facebook, along with another mutual girlfriend of ours. The girl told me she had a huge crush on the guy, she had the same nerdy interests as him, and she was pretty hot, curvy, big boobed Italian chick. Apparently she asked him out, and he said they should stay friends. Imagine my surprise when I saw post after post of him whining about being single. How no girls like him. ECT. How the sexy redhead who looked like the little mermaid was a BTCH for dodging his eye contact. How he just wanted a little Japanese girlfriend who looked like a Nanin character. The real kicker came when he had his guy friend make a post that basically said you're all pieces of shit for not hooking up this guy with your single female friends. I know for a fact you all know single girls and you're not even trying to set him up. I told him that I wouldn't trust him with my worst enemy and blocked them both. The ducking entitlement was astounding, as was the complete lack of self-awareness. Apparently having your guy friend making a post whining on your behalf is perfectly normal for some people. I was sitting at the bar by myself, and this guy in a fedora comes up to me, and we just start talking. He seems okay. We got into some casual conversation. Then he starts talking about how he thinks girls should be nice to him, if he does something nice for them. That is open the door for them, or buy them a drink. I tried for a solid half hour, to get him to understand, that a girl was not going to fall head over heels for someone who thought that opening the door for them meant, that they were a knight in shining armor. I tried very hard, but he just would keep talking over me. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.